Welcome to AVZ Minerals, an Australian stock exchange listed junior mining company based in Perth, Western Australia. Access to the world-class Monono Lithium and Tin project is through South Africa to the regional centre of Lubumbashi. A further one and a half hour flight from Lubumbashi takes you to the centre of Monono. The town of Monono is serviced by an all-weather gravel airstrip of approximately 1200 metres length. town is divided into two villages with a total of approximately 30,000 residents. The deposit itself is also divided into two sectors, Monono in the north and Kitatolo in the south. Historical workings for the tin are now flooded. In early 2017, AVZ Minerals commenced work on the project area, engaging a drilling contractor, and starting the refurbishment of several buildings within the area. These buildings include core storage yards for holding 27,000 metres of drill core, sample preparation facilities including our own sample preparation laboratory and core logging areas for the geologists. Additional facilities include a 100,000 litre fuel dump, drilling supplies and also an administrative office block. The office block is adjacent to the kitchen and mess hall and further accommodation for technical and labour staff. From the camp facility, travelling back down towards Monono, one will pass over the Carrier de Lest pegmatite, which has been drilled by AVZ. A total of six drill holes showing widths of pegmatite up to 450 metres and grades up to 4% lithium. Rock chip samples taken from below Lake Lakushi Dam in the spillway have provided additional support to a high grade carrier de less pegmatite with grades between 1.5 and 4.5% lithium. On entering the Kitatolo sector, you pass over several pegmatites Tempet. Mpet, Kioni, and then you pass to the south the most southern Roche d'Or pegmatite. The Roche d'Or pegmatite has seen the focus of most of AVZ's work to date over the past two years, with in excess of 27,000 metres of drill core being completed. At the height of this work, AVZ had five diamond drill rigs working 24 hours a day for over six months employing more than 150 local people resident from Monono. The culmination of all of this drilling has defined a resource at Roche d'Or of over 400 million tonnes at better than 1.6% lithium oxide. A typical cross-section at Roche d'Or will see pegmatite of over 250 metres width. On both the foot wall and hanging wall of the pegmatites, transition zones and weathered pegmatite is prevalent. With over 27,000 metres of drilling, a jaw compliant resource has been calculated for the Roche Dior pegmatite. This includes a total of 259 million tonnes in measured and indicated categories. A permit was issued to Dathcom Mining to allow the dewatering of the Roche Dior pit. Once the pit has been dewatered, access will be gained to the floor to allow further drilling for geotechnical studies and increased resource confidence with additional upgrade in resources to measured and indicated category, final pit designs can be organised. At present, defined measured and indicated resources allow a two-stage pit design to be developed. With a proposed 5 million tonne throughput, the Monono mine will have a plus 50 year mine life. Mining will be undertaken through conventional drill and blast techniques, with loose ore being loaded through excavators to large dump trucks, transporting ore through to the ROM pad. Ore will be loaded into a hopper bin 
and then a two-stage crushing section. Crushed ore will then be treated through a DMS plant to produce a concentrate. Finely crushed ore can then be treated through flotation cells. Both the fine and the coarse material are expected to be greater than 6% lithium concentrate. Concentrate will then be bagged into bulker bags of approximately two and a half tonnes and loaded onto trucks for transporting out of country. Concentrate bags will be transported via Pianamwanga Hydro Facility, then on to the Zambian border for loading onto the Tazara Railway. The Tazara Railway will then transport all of our material to the port of Dar es Salaam. Pianamwanga is an historical hydroelectric dam with a capacity of 38 megawatts. The facility is no longer operational and will need complete refurbishment. Once completely refurbished, it is expected that this dam can produce in the order of 64 megawatts of power. Additionally, there is extra capacity for further expansion. Or will be further transported southeast to the town of Pueto and there cross into Zambia. At the town of Kasama in Zambia, our concentrate bags will be loaded onto the Tazara railway line for further transport to the port of Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam port, concentrate will be transferred from the two and a half ton bulker bags into half height 20 foot containers. The concentrate will be stored at port in containers until sufficient material is available for loading into a ship. Loading the concentrate into bulk freighters will be by rotor box methodology. It is expected that AVZ will ship approximately 80,000 tonnes of concentrate product every month to battery manufacturers around the world.